Good morning. It's 8.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this beautiful Monday, July 15th. Let's take a look at Litecoin. Oh, we're still getting hammered. See a little green, but not enough green to make us happy. Um, let's just go see what the market maker intends to do today. Okay. Market maker's trade is right here, 120871. I recognize it from before. There it is. You see 120872. You just seen it. 120871. Yep, well, the 120872. Uh, you just seen him lower that down, so you know where he's going with this. So let's do a simple calculation today to show what the market maker is doing. I'm going to give you a little synopsis today. So. So you don't have to watch all my videos. Be aware that the New York Department of Financial Investigation in, uh, in turn, uh, complying with my complaint against Coinbase that the market makers manipulating the price, Coinbase has responded and they said, yes, those two trades belong to the market maker. But he's posted them 40 to 44 cents equidistance from the, the mid-market price so as not to influence the trade, you know, the trade price. Well, when I looked at when I investigated that reply, he's never posting 40 to 44 cents and he's never equidistant. Why? Because he's manipulating the mid market price using those two trades. And he just tried to cover himself. So let's, and I, and I can show you that with simple math. Okay, here goes his bottom wall. It's at, well, he lowered it from $90, so the price is going down. Yeah, there you go. It was ninety dollars this morning. It's eighty eight seventy five. Eighty eight seventy five. Eighty eight spot seventy five. How far is away from the mid market price? Let's see, eighty seven spot thirty one. That is not forty four cents. There's an extra dollar on there. Okay, let's go to the bottom wall. He's got the bottom wall so far away from the mid-market price, and that's causing the price to dump. He shifted the mid-market price point by moving those two trades using their volume. These people are rotten people. Let's see if I can find that price. 86.10, it's around. Okay, we're going to use 86.10. It's only within five points, so we're going to do 87 spot 42 minus 86 spot. One zero. A dollar thirty two. I don't know, people. Do, do those trades look equidistant to you to the mid market price? They never are and never have been. Because the market maker is manipulating the prices using the volume of those two trades to create a mid market price he des he uh, desires. Okay? And what he desires is a mid-market price that gives him the ability to have a spread between the buys and the sells from his trade. Look, look, look how much. Almost $3. So that means within that $3, every time he dies, does a buy and a sell, he's going to make $3 in that range. You know, from 0 to $3. Bringing it down, he'll trigger your stop losses. Scoop up all your coin on the cheap. Then he brings the market back up a couple of dollars. And he dumps it on the market. Benefiting by the spread he created. Alright. Now I've, I've told several 
of these technical analysis people with big subscribers to look at this. They chose to ignore it. Those people who are doing a technical analysis are not willing to bring the sour truth to the front of the issue here of why this market's uh, having problems. It's because it's being manipulated and they ignore it. They don't deserve you as a subscriber. I don't care how many subscribers I have. My numbers are growing because I'm telling the truth and people are doing the math themselves. I'm teaching them how to do the math. I'm showing them the figures that I'm using. I showed them the letter that, that came from Coinbase's legal department on behalf of their market maker. And I showed you that what they stated the market maker is doing from Coinbase legal staff is not true. It's a lie. This is a dishonest exchange. They don't deserve your business. And then you're, t you're trying to try the new people to come into this market. Oh, look, I know how to trade. If you're losing money, it's because you're an idiot. No, you're not an idiot. You're tr they're using your trust against you. They lure you into the market, and then they rob you. Oh, don't worry. We'll protect you from loss. Put in the stop loss. The market maker sees that, goes in, triggers your stop loss. You take an extra cut of 10% or 5% or wherever you put your stop loss. So now you're saying, well, that's normal. It's going to go up because so-and-so said so. You put another trade in, you buy in, and you put another stop loss. What happens? What do you think happens? The market maker who's an insider trader with Coinbase, he looks, he sees the bid. Oh, look, there's about $3 million worth of coin and stop losses at 5%. Whoosh! You get it. Again, you lose another 5%. And sooner or later, you keep on this exchange following people who run a technical analysis which shows the after effects, not the before effects, of what this market, they ignore it. You know, they're sitting in the room, the whole building's on fire, but since it hasn't reached, reached their room yet, oh, well, everything's okay. This needs to be addressed. This is the proverbial bull in the china cabinet here, okay? The white elephant in the room. And everybody's ignoring it. This market is being manipulated. I can prove it with simple math. The market maker is manipulating the price because he wants a big spread as opposed to a small spread. Okay? The larger the spread, the more money he makes on each trade he provides the liquidity for. But for some reason, these guys swear up and down they know the market. None of them understand how liquidity works and how the market maker should be working. He's committing an open crime right in front of your face. If you can't see what he's doing with the spread, you shouldn't be taking any technical analysis advice from him. This is pure, plain, and simple. I'm getting a lot of people, they're just, they're just going on here and doing simple math and they're reading the letter I gave them the letter to read people read read the letter they have a, 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 a decent comprehension of English you know and they read the letter they understand what the market what the legal department state and their market maker is doing so it's very easy to go there with a simple math formula and when you when you punch in the figures from the market makers trade to the mid-market price, it should be 44 cents, the 40 to 44 cents, it says typically, which means commonly. Those are the, not my words, that's the legal department of Coinbase's words. Again, it's right there on my on my channel, you can go look at it yourself. Now, you look, wait a minute, these aren't 44 to 44 cents away. So right there, that whole paragraph that they wrote, that excuse they made up for their market maker, if one word is, is false, one sentence is false in that paragraph of statement, then the whole thing is bullshit. And then you could average you can actually average out the mid market price by taking the prices. I'll even show you that. You could take where he's putting the walls up and you can figure out that it's directly related by averaging it out. You see this is eighty eight. Oh uh, he's he's lowering it down more. No trades are going on, but he's lowering the price now of his wall. That's another thing. He says he uh the well the trading happens and if they move the mid market price I move my trades accordingly. No it's not. You move the tr nobody's buying anything and you're still moving your wall down. 
bullshit artist. 8831, right? 88 spot 31 plus, right? Now we go to the bottom wall. Now that he moved the walls, watch how the mid market price goes. Shit, man. He's moved the wall down so far, he's going to drive the price down more. Here it is, 8620. We just see the 8620, you see it right there. So, okay. 8620. 8941. Oh, I did a mistake. 86 by 20 plus you got to go back up I did a boo-boo 8835 it's plus 8835 divided by 2 and look you see you see you're seeing it now less than 1% away from the mid market price under the inf so the mid market price is is under the influence of those trades. You just seen the move. He stated that the tr uh, uh, the other trade has moved the, the market, and he just adjusts his trades accordingly. We just watched him move his trade without any trades even being posted on the history. He just moved it. And now, let's see. He moved his his wall down, and let's see what happens. Oh, gee, it's red. Anybody, all you technical analysis guys, if you choose to, to ignore this and you're telling people it's it, this is fine, come in the water's fine, and there's a shark in it. All right? And the shark is the market maker. He's robbing these people. They're never going to come into the uh, market again. Okay? This shark is chewing up the investor. He's killing him. He's not, he's not going to come back to trade. And anybody else that's looking or thinking about coming into this market, no matter what level trader they are, after this market maker chews them up, you think that, that the person who got chewed up, when the new person asks them, well, you know, how is that market? I lost money. I couldn't figure out why. I followed all the technical analysis. We're supposed to be uh, $200 now. Or 1% of uh, Bitcoin's price, which we're neither. And then uh, the, the market maker, yes, I only post 40 to 44 cents. So I don't know what Mr. Russo is saying. I only post my trades 40 to 44 cents away from the mid-market price. I in no way impact the price. In the real world, your trades are $1.44 and $1.32 away from the mid-market price. They're not equidistant because you're manipulating the mid-market price. You're pumping and dumping the coin at will. And the only reason you're getting away with it is because we have idiots in the CFTC and the New York Department of Financial Services. You know, the look at me crowd, look, I got these special glasses on and that piece of paper on the wall behind me makes me instantly smart. I don't have to prove myself because daddy got me the job. And they don't, they have, there's no school for trading, okay? And these guys, this guy's, uh, the New York Department of Financial Services, he's a bank examiner. He asked me for bulletin points. What's the matter? They don't teach basic math and finance anymore? You can't tell if a market maker is manipulating the market by using simple uh, arithmetic? Are you that fucking stupid? You need to be fired from your job if you can't figure out what the market maker is doing after I investigated, initiated the investigation. You got a response from the market maker. You never check to see if the story is true. I check to see if the story is true. And he lied to you. And you're too dumb to know that he lied to you. You need to be fired. Fired. I can even give you the name of this guy. His first name is Chris. Chris, you need to be fired. You're an idiot. Bank examiner. I never seen a bank examiner who can't 
somebody tells him something, he's got a complaint. Don't you check the basic math? I worked in the bank all my life. I was a consultant for years. Somebody told me I had a problem. I actually had to look at the figures to figure out if the problem exists. And if somebody said, well, this, this, and this happened, you have to go and check it. You can't get a, letter, a, a couple of paragraph page that's written by a lawyer and say, oh, well, they look, they wrote a response. Everything's fine. It's okay. You got to go and check his stuff. That's how you do an investigation. You don't close the case. You guys are idiots over there at the New York Department of Financial Service. Every single one of you that's in that office who can't do simple math to prove that that letter from Coinbase is full of shit, you need to be fired. You, you allowed these guys to steal hundreds of millions of dollars because you were too busy worrying about uh, what was on your iPod or looking at your phone rather than doing your damn job. I'm out of here. That's all I got for today, people. You guys who do technical analysis should be ashamed of yourselves that you don't openly expose this. They're wrecking all your subscribers' uh, uh, chances of making money. As a matter of fact, your subscribers are nothing but victims. And you do nothing.